Okay. The Australian DJs, I'm heated. I am so heated. When I heard about this last Thursday, I was like, oh my God, I got to do a video right now. I could not. First, I was ticked off at just the hoax part. Just the part about calling, being like, oh, hello, can I speak to my granddaughter, Kate, please? I need to check on her little tummy. Really? First of all, the whole fascination with this chick, Kate, being pregnant, like, is that a phenomenon that I didn't know about? The fact that her husband impregnated her and now that she has morning sickness? Um, I must be the smartest person on the planet, or maybe I'm not even on planet, maybe I'm an alien who's on planet Earth because I don't see what is the fascination with that. What is the fascination that another human being has got knocked up? Can anybody please raise your hand and let me know? Because I'm confused at the fascination. First of all, last week when this thing even aired, I was watching The View as I do almost every Monday through Friday. Um, and Barbara Walters is like, this just in. What? This just in? It better be somebody uh, has bombed us or Barack Obama then died. Because it's like, why did that even have to be breaking news? Breaking news. Another human being is pregnant. Wah, wah, wah. How long do you want me to keep doing that? Wah. That was so stupid. But see, look, the whole fascination with this Kate thing has caused somebody's life. The whole fascination that Prince William's body is working perfectly fine, and so is Kate's, that they are now able to reproduce a child has caused the death of somebody. Are you kidding me? Like, I am so ticked off. I'm ticked off at these two people right here. I hope that comes up clear. Mel Greg, Greg or Greg and Michael Christian and whoever is their boss, the whole radio station, all you guys that want the people who let this get from out under of down under. It should have stayed down under where it belonged. I'm over here in Bakersfield, California. I don't want to know about you two cats. I'm not interested. I'm not interested that you guys have to do a stupid prank so that you can get ratings. And now, because of that, someone has died. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it's not the DJ's fault. Like, you know, this lady obviously had problems or whatever. Okay, this lady did have problems and you pushed her over the edge. It's still your fault because if you didn't call to do that stupid prank so people can listen to you so that now I, Kendra Janelle, knows about Mel, Greg, and Michael Christian, I don't want to know about you two. I have no interest in you. I don't care who you are because I'm not listening to your show. I'm not an Australian. I, I don't have an interest in you. Now I know you two because you, <clears throat> what is it? They didn't facilitate they are an accessory to this person's suicide. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it.